Hello, this is Dhammapada, chapter 4, verse 2, in consecutive numbering, verse number 45. Uh, this video will be rather shorter than most of the others, and certainly shorter than 4.1, because this verse is effectively the answer to the rhetorical question put in verse uh, chapter 4, verse 1, as who will conquer the world? The answer is no, the, the learner will conquer the world. Seko patavim vijesati yamalokanche mam sadevakam Seko tamapadam sude sitam kusalo kupameva pachesati. The word seko from the meaning to, to study or to learn or to train. You can make one of the ways of making a verbal noun out of that is um, shiksha, which just means training or studying, learning. In Pali, By normal phonetic mutation, it is sikha, meaning learning or training, and we have the sikha padam, the training rule, as it's commonly translated in the in the pre precepts. You such and such sikha padam samadhyami, samadhyami. I adopt. I take into myself the sikha padam, the training rule. In Sanskrit, from shiksha, you can make a derivative noun, means a person in tr shiksha training or learning, a person involved in or person doing um, a training by strengthening the e to a becomes a shaksha. So shaksha is just a learner, one who is studying, one who is learning. And in Pali, that becomes sik, either seka with a single K or sekka with a, a, a double K. More commonly, um, in the general mutation of sounds, Sanskrit to Pali, the ksh would become a, a double KH. So it's shekha, sekka. But occasionally you do find it with a, a single K as here, it's Sekha. So Sekha then is anybody who is learning or just putting himself through the training. The Seko Patavim Vijesati, it is the, the learner, but in this broader sense, somebody is putting himself through the training, will Patavim Vijesati, will conquer the earth. Yamalokancha imam sadevakam, and that is, and will conquer. Yamalokancha imam, and this Yamaloka, and this Yama world, sadevakam, with, with its gods. Seko dhammapadam sudesitam kusalo puppamiva pachesati. So the, the Seko, the learner, Pachesati will gather, will pluck the sudesitam dhammapadam, the well taught, the well expressed, the well pointed out dhammapada, words of the dhamma or path of the dhamma. Kusalo puppamiva, like a skillful person, flowers. And as I mentioned in the previous verse, it, it may mean herbs, medicinal herbs, something like that. So the the learner, one who is seriously training, the seko, pachesati will pick out or choose which to pick out. The sudesitam, the well-taught dhamma padam, the well-taught words of the dhamma, like a skillful person picks out herbs. The 
kusalo pupam iva, the iva like applies to that whole sentence, the kusalo pupam pachesati, the skillful person will pick will select pick out herbs kusala pupam iva pachesati like in the same way that the skillful person picks out herbs on the spelling of yamalokancha for those of you who are concerned about the spelling of the anuswara that's the um, the the nasal the m at the end um Normally, get a final note, final M, followed by a consonant. Locum is written with an M. Subdotted M, we call it. However, when it's followed by a ch, short or tu is another one, followed by a ch, the M, it can often be written as one word, and the M can change to. So it's on. The same that the nasal that corresponds to the ch, lokancha. It has no grammatical significance. It's purely a matter of spelling, and it's optional. And it would have been also quite correct. They're not not quite so common, but perfectly correct to have written lo, 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 lokancha. So I, either is correct. Don't 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 worry about that. And there's no grammatical significance in that. Accusative ending um, which is the normal one, changing to ancha is purely a phonetic thing. Right, I'll read through the verse uh, once more. Seko patavim vijesati yamalo kancha imam sadevakam. Seko dhamma padam sudesitan kusalo. And that is the end of this clip for chapter 4, verse 2.